Hi guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel if you're new. Hi, my name is Femke and in today's video I wanted to share with you how I made this milk bath but with bugs inspired kind of design. Last year milk baths were like really hot, in trend all that jazz during spring, summer, and even into fall as well. I actually made a video back then how to do milk bath nails with regular nail polishes for all of the guys and girls out there who are not into gels or acrylics and stuff like that. But since I had some really cool like stickers with like bugs and flowers and everything like that, I really wanted to do like a new milk bath design, but bug edition and this was a little backdrop that i was actually pretty inspired by i got it in like a scrapbook like kit i guess with a lot of different papers which i actually use as backdrops and i just thought it was perfect for this design but first of all you want to start off with clean nails add your base coat which i already did off camera as well as two layers of this white essence nail polish this one is 33 wild white ways it is super affordable like just one euro 69 and super opaque as well so yeah you just want to start off with that and these are some of the bug stickers or at least the sheet with the stickers that I am going to use. These aren't water decals or anything like that, so you can just peel them off, stick them onto your nail and add a top coat. But I'm going to do some other additional steps to do the full milk bath effect. And then I also had some really nice like vintage looking rose stickers. I've showed you those in previous videos and I think they're really cute and just a little bit like an extra addition to the whole bug feel and milk bath nails, of course, because there is no milk bath without any flowers in my opinion so yeah i am just going to take um, some tweezers or at least one of the pairs of tweezers that i use for nail art and just peel off the stickers i actually bend the sheet with the stickers um, to, to kind of like lift an edge of the sticker so it's easier for me to just pick them up and place them on the nail but if you place them on the nail just be really gently and also make sure that your base layer is completely dry before doing so i actually just painted my nails the day before i was actually going to do this design just to be sure i wouldn't smudge my base coat and my base layer of course so yeah this video is quite repetitive but i thought it was really fun to show you anyways and with the whole current situation i know that a lot of people have to stay at home at the moment and they can get quite bored so that's why i just decided to not cut out a lot of the footage even though it's quite repetitive but yeah i just really like it but after that i'm going in with a beautiful flaky polish this one is by h m i just showed you the name on the bottom of the bottle as well it is still available you can order it online if you don't want to go out into the stores um, it looks pretty fabulous on the brush kind of like a golden coppery kind of flaky polish but on this white base it looks a little bit more of like an icy bluish just a perfect flaky polish for a milk bath nail design if you ask me i am going to work with a ton of different layers of nail polish which you will see in a little bit but I just wanted to add a lot of dimension to this nail, just like you would have in like a bath, like a milk bath. Um, if you use like bath bombs or stuff like that, especially the ones from Lush, which contain like a really cool colors and some glitter and shimmer and all that jazz, there's a lot of dimension in the uh, bath water. And that was it definitely what I wanted to go for, um, like while i was making this set of nails i actually wore this for i think it was nine days or something and other than just a little bit of tip wear because i have a quite manual job my nails stayed perfect the whole time and the stickers as well so that's just something i wanted to put out there these stickers i think i got them from born pretty store i'm not quite sure if they're still available but these sheets and the stickers or at least the stickers i have to say are so thin and really really nice to work with um, you have to be a little bit gentle with them because you actually can tear them up if you remove them from the sheet too harshly or too rough but just place them gently um, you can press them down with your finger but they are quite 
thin and that is a good thing when it comes to stickers because you don't want to have like a super thick sticker and once you go over it with top coat you don't want to like see the edges that much um, these stickers are perfect just a decent layer of top coat maybe two and you won't see any edges at all but yeah you just want to place like as much or as little stickers as you want to if you don't like the whole bug idea that i'm doing right here of course you can just go for some florals maybe some fruits i think that last year when i did my milk bath design like the original one i actually had some water decals um, of like fruits as well i thought that was really like cute and summery and just a fresh look you know but you can just add like whatever stickers or decals that you want this is really easy to do you don't need that much different like products or polishes i actually just use i think like three colored nail polishes and that is including the flaky polish of course if you don't have any flaky nail polishes or it's kind of hard for you to get by you can just use some random like loose glitter as well if you want to or just another random glittery polish it is totally up to you nail art has no rules or at least that's what i think about it and how i feel about it like you can do whatever on your nails it's just nail polish and nail art maybe some glitter if you don't like it you can simply remove it it's that easy but yeah here you can see me um like checking the little sheet and my na my nails next to it just to see what little sticker i will pick up next of course if you have shorter nails than i do these are my natural nails by the way if you're new and you didn't know that already um, if you have shorter nails just go for smaller stickers or decals it is totally up to you anything is possible in my opinion when it comes to nail art but yeah i i really love bugs and i was just so inspired by my backdrop or like that like sheet of paper or however you want to call it and i just wanted to spice it up a little bit with this flaky polish and i'm going to make it look a little bit more vintagey as well a little bit more milk bath effect like because you don't want your stickers to be like super obvious or super bright if you know what i mean the milk bath nail trend or design is all about layers and making sure that you actually use kind of like milky polishes as well usually i'm not a big fan of milky polishes um, but for this trend i finally got some good uh, like good use out of them and yeah you'll see what i mean in a little bit but here you can see me i'm just kind of randomly placing some of that flaky polish i actually decided to not really place it on top of the stickers so the bugs and the flowers will still be kind of like nicely visible if you know what i mean i didn't want to place too much on them because it isn't about the flakies in this design it's all about the stickers but yeah, here you can see the milky polish that I use. This one is by H&M as well. It is called Bleached Peach. It really gives that vintagey kind of look to it, like my backdrop sheet also has. And usually I just don't go for milky see-through polishes. I really love my polishes to be super opaque, super creamy. And yeah, you guys know me. If you have been following me for a really long time, you know that I don't want to see my natural smile line peeking through whenever I do a manicure. So yeah, I rarely use polishes like this but if you're going to do a milk bath design just grab those milky sheer polishes that you rarely use and just use them here you can see that this peachy color by H&M really makes it look a little bit more yellowy tinted and that just makes it perfect for this design especially because my biggest inspiration was my backdrop and that paper was a little bit more vintagey yellowy as well and i just think it looks pretty cool so yeah i just added a couple of layers of that in total i'm not quite sure if i actually show that in this video but just make sure it is completely dry like all of your layers have to be completely dry before you go in with the next that is just to make sure that you don't have to wait for a couple of hours before your manicure is completely dry and stuff like that 
you know the drill. But here you can see a little overview of the nails so far. I actually decided to add more of the flakies as I mentioned earlier in this video. That is to add more dimension to it, to really give it an extra layer, a little bit of extra depth. I really love that because as I mentioned, milk bath, like the milk baths themselves are quite dimensional as well. I have a lot of like color and different layers to it, if you know what I mean. But yeah, I just decided to go in with another layer of that bleached peach color just to give it again a little bit more depth and to, um, how do you say that, not make the stickers super obvious, to really give that milk bath effect um, that we're going for. So yeah, you just want to do that. And of course, don't forget to cap in the edges as well. Maybe you've already done that with that first layer of white or whatever kind of base color you are using when doing your nails. But it actually helps um, to prevent any chipping and tip wear, especially if you're like me and you do a lot of manual work. So yeah, don't forget to cap off your edges, people, especially if you have longer nails and if you want your manicure to last a long period of time, just gap off those edges. But yeah, here you can see me, I'm going back in again with that flaky polish. I actually added a little bit too much at some spots, but once again, you can't have too much flaky or glitter. But in this like particular design, I didn't want it to be super like overpowering or anything like that. So if you have added a little bit too much and the polish is still wet, you can just wipe off your brush and just remove it with the brush. So you won't like damage your layers you have already applied, if you know what I mean. But yeah, um, if you feel like I want to just bedazzle the crap out of this design, you can just add more and more and more. That's totally up to you. Once again, there are no rules to nail art and just do whatever you feel like is pretty or whatever you want to do. Like the world is yours, I'd say. But yeah, this just adds a little bit more dimension, a little bit more shimmer and glimmer to it once I have added the top coat as well. But yeah, there was pretty much the entire video already and the entire design it's really easy um, I, as I mentioned I just don't want to make this su uh, video super short because I know that a lot of you have to stay at home um, and can get quite bored so I just wanted to give you a little bit of a longer video and I really hope you like it as well after all of your layers of polish have dried, you want to go in with a top coat. Of course, if you feel like I've already added so many, just skip it. If you don't want to wear it for a longer period of time, you can just skip it as well. But I just have my little like manicure routine, base coat, colors uh, and top coat. So yeah, I'm just going in with a top coat by Catrice. I've mentioned this one in so many videos, I'm not even going to talk about it anymore, but it's a really nice one. It's quite affordable as well. And here you can see me just applying a decent layer to cap everything in as well as the edges. Um, yeah, I wore this for like nine days and it still looked so good. I actually didn't want to remove this design. Yeah, sometimes that happens, even though I have like tons of other nail art IDs. Sometimes I just love a design so much, I want to keep it on for life. But yeah, I have to keep on making different videos for you guys. Um, so I have to actually change my designs, even though I don't want to yet. But yeah stuff happens. But this was the entire video already. I really hope you liked it. If you have any questions or comments, you can always let me know in the comment section down below. I will reply to you personally as soon as possible. Um, as I have said in a couple of videos and earlier in this video as well, I still work full time. I still have to go out, go to work. So I'm not quarantined or anything like that. Of course, I'm making sure I'm staying safe and sound and I hope you are too. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you so much and I hope to see you in my next video.